Okay everyone, today I'll show you how to fit a Fong G2. Actually, you know the Fong G2 is already known as uh, Payment Request International. Actually, this one is payment for the international payment. And then uh, here you may see the date. The date uh, here we don't need Dutch anymore because you know this one is automatically get up from system. And also here there is a reference number. The reference number is D00 ESD. This one we don't need to Dutch anymore because you know we just only need to be fill up our four digit number. Okay, let's say the four digit number is 007. Then after that we need to be choose for the group. And then after that we need to be choose for the division. And we need to be fill up the initiator name. Yeah, I fill up Mindu because you know my name is Mindu and I'm an initiator. Okay, then after that we need to go for the contracting party. The contracting party should be the MPT or KSGN we need to be choose. Okay, here I choose KSGN. Then after that we need to be choose for their uh, nature of contract. This one should be JOOPEX or CAPEX or something like that. Then here I choose the CAPEX. Then after that we need to be mentioned for the reference number, form A number. The form A number should be the 0, D04, then EXA004. Okay, I already fill up the phone number. Then after that, we need to fill up for the invoice number. The invoice number should be the same as your invoice. Okay, then after that, we need to fill up for the vendor name. The vendor name should be the Huawei. H U H U A W E I Huawei. So we fill up the Huawei. Then after that, we need to choose for the country. The Huawei company is in Singapore, so we choose Singapore. Okay, then after that, we need to be uh, fail for the contract value. The contract value we need to be choose whether this one is MMK or US dollar. Here this one is an international payment and is also related to the US dollar. So I choose the US dollar. Then after that uh, we need to be fill for the base value. The base value should be okay 10 million dollar. So we we put it 10 million dollar. Then after that we need to be choose for the uh, commercial tax or something like that. For the international payment, uh, actually, you know, for the NAN then we don't have a uh, commercial tax. And also, the another one is a withholding tax. The withholding tax percentage should be the 3.5% normally. Okay. And then you may see that another boss. This one is a uh, commercial tax and withholding tax. Here, we just only need to be filled up. You know, uh, sometimes the base value and the commercial tax and withholding tax amount will be the different. In that case, we need to be fill up in here. Otherwise, we don't need to touch anymore. Then after that, we need to be fill up for the discretion. Okay, let's say that this discretion is KSGMP man phase two project. Okay, we pay for the KSGM phase two project. And then after that, we need to be fill up for the due date. The due date should be the date only. So 31st 12, 2015, we fill. Up. Okay. Then after that, we need to be choose for the payment method. The payment method should be the foreign wire because you know mostly all the overseas payment we make a wire transfer. Okay so we choose a foreign wire then after that we need to choose for the account code. The account code we need to be discussed with our department head then we need to make sure before we, we fill it in here. In that case here I just only fill up the, the other age bank. Okay let's say this one is the other age bank. Then after that we need to be choose for the uh, we need to be fill up for the beneficiary name, beneficiary bank and account code, sync code and so many things we have to be fair. Okay, let's say here is a beneficiary name is Huawei. H U A W E I Huawei. Then beneficiary bank. Uh, this one should be the China bank or something like that. Europe, Singapore, or something like that. We need to be fair. Okay. Then after that account code zero one zero two something like that. Then after that the street code should be the Europe. If Europe bank, uh, that should be a Europe S G S G. Then after that intermediary bank. You know sometimes, uh, in our bank Cambodia and C B they don't have the right connection with the, the overseas band so we need to use the intermediary band you know like an OCBC or something like that okay so we need to be filled in here if necessary then after that remittance currency sometimes it may be happen because you know our invoice is only in US dollar because of the sanction issue we need to be transferred to the our vendor SGD or something like that so we need to be filled in here SGD or something then after that remittance cost we need to be choose this one should be the share or bond by customer or something like that. Let's say this one is a share, so we choose the share. Okay, then after that, we need to be fill for the remark. Uh, the remark if you have any special message passed to their finance too, you need to be filled up in here. Then for the attachment here, we need to be checked uh, is there any invoice attached or form A or you know, like a contract PO, something like that. If there is a PO, then we need to be mentioned the PO number. 
And also the other document, this one we need to be mentioned in here, uh, you know, like an invoice or delivery certificate or something like that, we need to be filled up in here. Okay, if you need any clarification about the form, we need to be go to the page number two, then after that we can reply easily. Okay, then after that we need to be make sure everything is correct, then after that we need to be click on the save button. Okay. Once we click on the save version, there will be D04 ES D07, the file name will be Kami. Okay, let's say the, the file name is already matched with our reference number. Okay, so everything is correct. Then after that, we need to click on the save version. Okay, that's it. Thank you.